wonder if you've ever thought about eternity. Just that word eternity, I feel like it sparks something in all of us. I remember the Reverend Billy Graham said this, he said, hell is real, heaven is real, and eternity is but a breath away. I wonder if you've ever considered eternity. That at the end of your life, the end of my life, everything's gonna go away. It's not, we're not gonna be here anymore. We go on to, to eternity. We go on to what's next for us. I wanna share with you one of the most challenging scriptures that I find in the Bible, it's in Matthew 7. And Jesus says something about what's next. He says this, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name, cast out demons in your name, and do many mighty works in your name? And then I will declare to them, this is Jesus speaking, he says this, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. I think that's one of the most challenging scriptures to read because the truth is this is gonna end. Eternity is gonna find its way to your doorstep, to my doorstep, and we have a choice today. There'll be some people who say to me, hey, it's okay because at the end of my life, I'll figure that stuff out. I'll get things in order then. I'm gonna live my life and I'm gonna take care of that then. Can I just encourage you? None of us know how much time we have. None of us know exactly how many days that we have. God knows. And all we need to do today is to think about eternity and I believe to take up the call, which is the call to know Jesus. When Jesus says, I never knew you, he gives us the key. The key is knowing Jesus. And if we know him, our eternity is secure in him. Friend, I wonder if you've ever said yes to Jesus. Have you ever considered eternity for yourself? The truth is when you get to that moment, no amount of assets, some bank account, a good credit score, or some relationship you might have with someone else who have, has faith is gonna do anything for you. It's literally just gonna be you and God. I wonder if you would say yes to Jesus today and take up the call and know that your eternity is secure in Him. The Bible tells us that if we believe in our hearts and we confess with our mouths, so we believe it on the inside and we say it on the outside. There's something about what happens on the inside that makes its way to the outside in Jesus Christ. And if we make that declaration, we confess our need of Him, the Bible says that we're saved. I wonder if you would make that choice today. I'm crazy enough to believe that you're watching this reel or watching this little segment and it's for you. It's because God's wanting to speak to you, that God is trying to message something to you, that God is trying to connect with you. And all it's gonna take from you is just to simply reach out and touch God Himself. The Bible says that when we do that, we're saved. And so if that's you and you would like to take up this call to put your eternity in a secure place, I'd love to pray with you. It's as simple as praying a prayer, opening up the doors of your heart, confessing your need of God, and the Bible says He doesn't wait. He doesn't hold back. He doesn't wait for you to get things right or become religiously perfect or more spiritual. It's actually the opposite. He wants to take you as you are, with all your flaws, with all the things you've done, with all the stuff that comes with a life lived in this world. He wants to take it all because He loves you so much. So if that's you, this is what I want you to do. I just want you to pray this prayer with me. Say, Dear Jesus, Thank you that you love me. Thank you that you died for me. Thank you that you rose again so that I could have life. Forgive me of my sins, of all the things I've done wrong. I make a choice today to follow you, Jesus, to know you, Jesus, for the rest of my days. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, hey, this is what we believe. If you prayed that prayer from your heart, this is what happened, is you went from a place of not knowing God to knowing Him. Remember Jesus said, I never knew you. The key is the knowing, knowing God personally. We're excited for you. Personally, we're just so excited that you would take up the call. So reach out to us, connect with us. We'd love to hear from you and God bless.